We're doing something a little bit delicious in today's video. This is going to be crispy honey glazed chicken tenders. The batter is super crispy. The juicy chicken is literally mouth watering. And we're also going to be making a nice little coleslaw on the side. Now, please don't get overwhelmed with the amount of ingredients I have in front of me here. A lot of these are duplicate ingredients, which means they're going to be used twice in the recipe. And there's probably about five or six ingredients doing that. I'm also not going to explain all of these ingredients. It will just take too long and I don't want to bore you. And of course, I'll show you along the way. So with all of that done, please sit back, relax and enjoy. Starting with the marinade, we're going to need four large eggs to which can be cracked into any large container or bowl you may have, with myself just using a roasting dish. Follow that up with 320 milliliters or one and one quarter cups of buttermilk to add a little bit of acidity, which will help tenderize the chicken. One small bottle or 148 milliliters of Frank's hot sauce to add that delicious hot and sweet combination. Two teaspoons or five grams of both onion and garlic powder for that strong concentration. One tablespoon or 10 grams of smoked paprika for smoky peppery notes and color. One teaspoon or two and a half grams of red chili powder for increased heat, which is completely optional. A big pinch of sea salt flakes and cracked black pepper. 20 cracks worth. Once that's in, go at it with a whisk or fork and combine until smooth. And this right here is going to be the perfect marinade for our chicken to soak up, adding so much flavor to it. Also, if you're not a fan of spicy foods, this can be done differently, which I'll leave notes about in the description for you. Let's then add in 800 grams or 1.76 pounds of chicken tenderloins and get in there nice and deep like to massage your tenderloin just until it's well coated. It is also up to you if you want to remove the tendon in the tenderloins, but after it's mixed, make sure to cover it and marinate for a minimum of 30 minutes up to 24 hours. Now, whilst that's marinating, this is my version of coleslaw. To start, remove the core or heart from 150 grams or 5.2 ounces of both white and red cabbages and slice these up thinly with the correct culinary terminology being to chiffonade, leaving us with all of this. Next is seven grams or 0.25 ounces of curly or flat leaf parsley that can be roughly chopped, ensuring that there's no large leaves or stems. And you can also chop up a little bit extra to use as a garnish for our finished product. Two spring onions or scallions can also be thinly sliced on a straight angle or into diamond shape if you prefer, and I'm usually separating the stems from the roots, but for this, we're just going to use the whole lot. To add to the spring onion or scallion, slice half of a red onion into thin, even-sized pieces, and you can use a whole onion if you like that strong flavor. Also, when you get about two-thirds of the way across, just lay the onion down to continue slicing safely. Now this might seem strange to add to a coleslaw, but we're going to roughly chop 30 grams or 1.06 ounces of macadamia nuts. And this is going to add a delicious sweet nutty flavor and also creates texture working really well with both cabbages. You can also toast these if you wanted to. Last but not least for the prep is one lemon that we're going to slice in half and juice only half, saving the other for a different dish or drink. Obviously I'm using a citrus juicer, but you can do it by hand. Just make sure no seeds hop in. Now to assemble the coleslaw, add the cabbages to a mixing bowl along with the spring onion or scallion and red onion, the macadamia nuts and chopped parsley, 110 grams or 3.8 ounces of plain Greek yogurt which is instead of mayonnaise and creates a beautiful freshness, 2 tablespoons or 40 milliliters of macadamia oil for a nice nutty flavor which can be substituted with extra virgin olive oil if you prefer, 12 grams or 0.4 ounces of honey for a touch of natural sweetness, sea salt flakes to taste and of course cracked black pepper, 10 cracks worth. Get in there with clean hands, mixing everything really well until combined, and you might be wondering why I didn't add the lemon juice just yet, and that is because it's best to taste the coleslaw to see how much acidity you'd like to add, but it is recommended just to use the whole half. You can also adjust seasoning as well before mixing it again, and store it in the fridge until ready to serve. Now as for the dredging mix, add two and a half cups or 320 grams of plain all-purpose flour to a clean bowl, along with three quarters of a cup or 100 grams of corn flour or starch to help with crispiness, two teaspoons or five grams of both onion and garlic powder for that strong concentration, one tablespoon or 10 grams of smoked paprika for a warm peppery note and color, one teaspoon or two and a half grams of red chili powder for heat and is optional, one teaspoon or three grams of celery salt, which adds a strong flavor that works perfectly for dishes like this, and cracked black pepper, 30 cracks worth. Now gently mix this together with a dry whisk or fork, and I'm trying to be a little bit careful here because if you've seen my previous videos recently, I've been spilling quite a lot of things. Going back to the marinated chicken, drain off the excess marinade and transfer it into the flour mix and coat really well in all of the nooks and crannies, dusting off any excess flour. Place it back into the marinade and coat well again, but this time really thoroughly as there can be dry spots, just like when you make hot chocolate and all of the powder is still stuck at the bottom of the glass. And then finally, just add it back into the flour mix to give us a double coating that will ensure these are super crispy. Once done, dust off any excess flour and place onto a baking tray over a wire rack, continuing with the rest until you have all of this. 
To make a quick sauce, place a small saucepan over medium high heat, add in one third of a cup or 80 milliliters of Frank's hot sauce, as well as 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of honey, and one tablespoon or 14 grams of unsalted butter to create a really silky and glossy finish. All that needs to be done with this is give it a good mix together, just until the butter has melted through, leaving us with this, and then just pop this aside for the time being. Now, as for cooking the chicken, place a large high rimmed pan or pot over medium high heat, Pour in enough cooking oil to fill it just under half and heat this to 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. This can also be done in the oven if you prefer, which I'll leave details about in the description. Once at the correct temperature, turn the heat to medium high and gently place in the chicken, doing so away from you to avoid splashback, also doing this in batches, and fry for two to two and a half minutes just until it's beautifully golden and extremely crispy. That can then be removed and drained. Whilst fresh out of the hot oil, hit them up with some salt and pepper if you'd like to. Then for the best part, drizzle over that delicious honey hot sauce glaze, not using all of it though, which leaves us with all of these amazing crispy chicken tenders. Place them onto a board, plate, or whatever you prefer. Serve with the crunchy coleslaw and that delicious honey hot sauce glaze. Garnish with some parsley for a pop of color and freshness, which is of course optional. And the only thing left to do is make this all worthwhile, and that is we can then snap the chicken, dip it in the sauce, and we can then dig in. Honestly, there's not really a whole lot I can say about this dish. The crunch is absolutely incredible. It's so juicy and moist. You've got that delicious sauce, which is a little bit salty, sweet, and spicy. And obviously the coleslaw, which is the perfect side, and you can serve other sides with it if you wanted to. Other than that, I really highly recommend this dish. It is absolutely incredible.